Hey guys, it's my goddess Chrissy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And for those of you who are returning back, thank you for coming back. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you press that subscribe button. I'm doing a reading on Camila Cabello and Sean Mendez. This is a subscriber request. So um, I'm going to ask a few questions. The subscriber that requested this said that they're not even, you know, they're not even together anymore. I thought they were together the last time I saw them together. It, it looked really awkward, though, honestly, because he looked like he didn't want to be with her and she looked like she was so into it. So we're going to get into it and check it out and see what's going on with them. But um, yeah, I, I, the subscriber also said it was a PR stunt. So I I, I never knew that either. So I'm going to look into that as well. All right. So let's let's do it. Let's get into it. Y'all already know archetype cards let's see let's check out their personalities camila cabello and sean mendez okay Ooh. their energies do not go together guys even as i'm shuffling the cards to get their personalities they just aren't compat compatible in the beginning, though, they look so in love. I don't know what happened. All right, let's get some. Okay, let's start with Camila first. I'm going to pull from the middle, pull from here, and this card looks like it wants to come out. That's Camila. Okay, and then I'm going to pull for Sean Mendez. Sean, what's your personality like? Tell us about yourself. Okay, that's Sean. All right. Oh, there was some. Okay. All right, so first we have Camila Cabello, so I moved Sean's down here. So let's take a look at Camila and see what kind of person she is. Child orphan, independence based on learning to go it alone, conquering fear of surviving. Oh, wow. So interesting. Okay, shadow side, feelings of abandonment that stifle mat maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. So growing up as a child, Camila may have felt like an outsider or an outcast in her family. She may have, she may be an only child or she may be um, a person who has a big family. It's either or. But it was something that happened with her in her childhood where she felt like she always had to be independent and take care of things on her own. Now, she may be, have been very mature for her age, so her parents bestowed a lot of responsibilities on her um, early on, or her parents, she may come from a single parent household where she had to take on more responsibilities because the single parent had to work and wasn't there, and so she had to make sure that she was taken care of and did that on her own. Um, I, I would definitely feel like with Camila, she definitely feels like she has a Cinderella story where it's like, came from the bottom and worked my way to the top. Like I worked very hard to get here to the position that I am now. And I'm not afraid of anything. I'm very fearless because I know that I can accomplish anything. And if anything comes my way, I can handle it because I've gone through so much hurdles and challenges and obstacles that just have crossed my path in trying to have this career and trying to um, gain wealth in the music business and still continue to have um, exposure, especially as a woman and a Latina woman at that in the music business. So she's very proud of herself and pats herself on the back for that. Um, but it says here the shadow side is that she may seek surrogate families. So um, 
she may put herself at times with being too trusting with other people um, because she considers you, if she knows you or gets to know you, you can be more like family than just a person around her, like say her hairstylist or her makeup artist um, would be more like family to her. And just those around her that she encounters all the time. But she has to also remember that she can't um, put her trust in everyone. And that she still kind of has to um, use discernment when getting too close to certain people who may just be there to possibly take advantage. So there's two sides to that. All right. Oh, she got hermit. Wow. Wow. Seek solitude to focus intently on inner life, serves personal creativity. Shadow side withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment of others, refusing to help those in need. All right. I, I'm very surprised to see this hermit card with Camila. Um, it seems like she can be an introvert at times um, when she's in a, in a crowd. She may tend to uh, keep to herself if she doesn't know anyone there. You know what I mean? She also feels it's important to take time alone to get away from um, all the cameras, the lights, the action that comes with being an artist. You know, it can get to be a lot at times. And for her, it seems like it could get a bit lonely at times too. I'm still getting from this card that there's um, something going on with her and her family and there's she really has felt like she's had to do everything on her own it's pretty interesting I'm very surprised to see this all right next card storyteller Ooh, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols does she write her own songs because I would see why this would be here if she does but shadow attribute makes up tales that harm others i hope she's not a liar i'm not getting liar vibes from her but i don't know i know normani did have issues with her um so this may be true she may make up stories to um put herself as a victim and have a victim mentality where she convinces herself that what she's saying is actually true when it's not. So she can be manipulative in that way. So, yeah. Um, with her spending a lot of time by herself, I could see her going within and just writing. And just writing. It's something that she's um, talented at. So if she ever decides to stop singing, she could just write songs for people. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Okay. I get, I get a little mystery about Camila. You know, it, it seems like there's a side to her that nobody sees that she keeps for herself. That's what I'm getting with her energy. All right, let's see. Now let's move on to Sean Mendez and check out his personality. We have Beggar. All right, confronts empowerment at a level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. Oh, gosh, Lee, okay. What I get from that is that Sean does a lot of things to make himself feel better. He, I feel from this card, can get to a point where he doesn't want to be seen. And he can get to depressive states. And when he gets to depressive states, he doesn't want to be around anyone. And it just becomes too much for him. That he has to really calm everything down, slow everything down and analyze what's in his mind because he'll just be having a thousand things. I get a lot of anxiety from this card for Sean. Like not being able to handle fame, 
as much as he would like to. I could see him getting into exercising a lot or outdoor activities a lot. I see him like, I think what they call it is like paddle boarding or, um, yeah, I think it's paddle boarding or like surfing. Something with those boards though in the water, in the ocean. I see him doing that and basically doing things that a lot of water activities, that's for sure, to really get the stress out because he gets a lot of anxiety from fame, believe it or not, okay? I'm getting, like, my eyes are hurting. There's too many lights. Like, I don't want to go and do a show. I, like, I'm just, like, feeling like I'm going to have a panic attack. Like, that's the vibe that I'm getting with Shawn Mendes vampire guys wow makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force shadow side depleting others for your psychic survival chronic complaining and codependency wow i would say that sean is really in a tough place right now i wouldn't be surprised if him and camila are not together just because he's a little bit hard to handle at this time he just has so much in his mind that he's dealing with. He's very stressed and just, oh, he feels like, either he feels like he needs to protect his energy or he's just a lot right now and people are just drained when they're around him because he just annoys the crap out of them. It's one or the other, but it really seems from what I'm seeing here with the beggar card that Sean is in a place where he can really drain your energy because he doesn't have enough of his own. He's so like in another world where he's just not even here. He's not grounded into his own reality. He just wants to escape. Like I just see like vertigo. Like I just don't know where I am, what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. Just a lot of confusion. Wow. Okay. Artist. Expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. So, Sean, with everything else being said about what he's going through right now, and I think that's why the artist card is even here, because it's talking about him being an artist, but how the, being an artist is affecting him. It's affecting all of his senses. Okay, like I said, I can't see. That's the first thing. I can't see. I have too many lights. It's too bright. All of his senses are just like heightened at this time. And it's just causing him a lot of anxiety. But also with that, Look at the shadow side. Using talent and as, as an excuse to mistreat others. Posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. So he may use the fact that he's an artist um, to be mean, to be rude, um, to be disrespectful. Um, and it's just because he really is in a deep, dark place right now where he has to go deep within himself and his shadow side. He's really doing his shadow work of knowing like what his flaws are and working through them and being okay with that. And I wouldn't be surprised if Shawn Mendes retired from music or I wouldn't be surprised if he just did it like on the side where it's like have a concert maybe once a year and not even go to that many places I don't really see Sean singing like that anymore. I really don't. And if he does, it would get to a point where it would get very, very um, unhealthy for him. It's already unhealthy for him. Just the fame part of it that comes along, it just doesn't gel and mesh well with him. Okay? All right. So let's get into...
what was uh camila and sean's relationship like when they first got together because i feel like in the beginning it was a lot better than it is now Let's see. what was their relationship like before that travel so it was very exciting because it seems like they talked a lot on the phone. They would go and travel to see each other. So it, it was very long distance in the beginning. They would go on dates. They would sneak off and go on dates. They would do the, what they need to do sexually. Um, I'm getting to with this sneaky card that they would have sex in like, you know, places they're not supposed to. Yeah, so it was very adventurous in the beginning. It was very fun, playful. You just have a good time. Young, you know, puppy, sweet love. You know what I mean? That's what it was in the beginning. Um, I want to see now if they're still together. Are they still together now? Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes. Manifest love tied up. Cheap. <sighs> I'm getting that they're taking a break. I'm getting that they're taking a break. I don't know if they're going to get back together, but I'm getting that they're not together right now um, because someone felt like they weren't getting everything they needed to get from the relationship. Okay. Sean Mendez. I'm getting Sean Mendez wasn't interested. I'm getting though that Camila is a good match for him. Ooh. Sean Mendez is not in a space mentally to be in a relationship. He did cheat in the relationship um, with other women. Okay. And he's just not in a space mentally to be in a relationship right now. Is him and Camila, is Camila and Sean, are they going to get back together? Is Camila and Sean going to get back together? Camila's going to find someone else, guys. She's going to find someone else that she's compatible with. And she's going to have a baby with that person. Yeah. So, no, they are not going to get back together. In the wrong world. And, and she's going to see um, being away from Sean. And meeting this new guy is a blessing for her. She's going to be very, very much in love. And. Okay. Yeah, Sean is is going to continue dating other people. Um, I don't see him in a serious relationship right now. I see him dating. Um, but he really needs to get himself together mentally. Um, I'm going to ask because I don't see that here, that he's mentally in a place where he can even be in a serious relationship. So let me ask her, Zuli. Is, um, is Sean mentally stable to be in a committed relationship? But yeah, Camila's going to meet someone and she's going to have a kid with that person.
Yeah, he doesn't want to put in the effort to have a serious relationship. And you know, he is really into like beautiful women. He keeps getting the ghosting card. It's like take you along for the ride to like back out and say I'm not ready for this. So he's not serious. Yeah. He's like a player. Look at this. I can go to see you. We can go out, but I'm not looking for love. There it is there. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. I hope I didn't go that long because I didn't want it to be. But for the subscriber that requested this, this is specifically done for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading and got the answers that you wanted. Oh, I forgot there was one more question. Was this a PR stunt? Was this relationship a PR stunt? I do want to ask that. Was Camila and Sean Mendez's relationship a PR stunt? In the past, it wasn't, but as of what they recently had, it was. It was. What they had in the past, it was not a PR stunt. They actually got together and fell in love. But something was coming up for Camila, or is coming up for Camila, on why they were shown recently. Yeah, there was some work. Oh, there was some work. For her, that was coming up. And uh, they wanted her to, to be seen and be out there. And uh, yeah. And get more opportunities. Okay? So, subscriber, you were right. Um, this last time that they were seen together, it was for publicity. But when they first got together, it was not. It was not. Money was just already there. But this is for the money to keep going, to keep coming. Okay? There it is. Get to the money. All right. Again, it's my goddess Chrissy. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye.